Man, I wish I could see in the sweaty chair that Leonard sat in. It'd make me so happy. Hey everybody, Scarily here. Welcome back to another episode of Radiana Stories. In the last episode, we returned from our mission uh, after successfully uh, uh, guiding the dwarf back from, from, or not back from, from Earth Valley all the way to Radiata Castle. Uh, and all was well in the world, you know? We completed our mission, all was good. There was a couple goblins here and there, but it wasn't anything too bad. And we reported our, uh, stuff and goods to Lord Marks. I got congratulated for a job well done. This time! Uh, with nothing else to do, what do you say we go to Honk Shoe Honk Shoe Land? How about that? Until something happens, you know? Master Jack, are you here? Yeah, hello. I'm right here. An emergency summons has been issued to the Rose Cochon. Please be at the meeting room in 30 minutes. Emergency summons? Too cool. That sounds like real night work. I'm on my way. And do try not to get lost on the way, all right? Al, you worry too much. How am I going to get lost inside the castle? Uh, what were they thinking when they made this castle so blinking huge? Good morning, Captain. Sorry about the wait. Good grief. Would it kill you to be on time? What was that? Now, now, Jack. Take a seat, please. Sir. The Rose Cochon Brigade has been given a new assignment. We're gonna fight orcs? No, we're to deliver a royal message to the Light Elves. This is a very important assignment. It is part of the Non-Human Friendship and Trade Initiative. Lord Chamberlain Jasna has been working very hard on this project. Much rests on the outcome of our mission. Failure is not an option. This will be one blood-tingling, rip-roaring adventure. But the Light Elves hate humans. There's no race more suspicious of us than them. Humans have never been allowed inside the City of Flowers where the Elves live. You are perfectly correct. That is why we will be bringing a specialist with us. A specialist? Who? Master Genius of the Vereth Magic Institute. He's a brilliant young man. He apparently became a professor there when he was only 15. Okay, but where is he? We will meet Master Genius at our destination. He's there conducting research. His home isn't far from the Light Elf Village. We leave first thing tomorrow morning from Pocorn Gate. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Try not to be late, Kay. You either, Kay. Captain, good morning. I'm right on time. Morning, Jack. Nice to see you all fired up as usual. Heh <laughs> check it out, Ridley. I got here right on time. So, don't make a big deal out of being normal. Excuse me? I was here before you. What's your point? Was I late? I don't think so. All right, all right, you two. Are we ready? Let's get going, shall we? Sir. Sir. We got Gans and Ridley back here for the fun and games. All right, so you see we have a new destination. The destination here, and we're in a brand new region, the the Quator region, and with some new music too. Ain't that lovely? We're gonna be seeing new sights. Have we got wolves? Scary wolves. Now we are lacking a Clive here, which means we're technically lacking a, although not very powerful, healer. Well, actually, no. Five steals actually kind of came in useful a little bit. You gotta actually save my bacon. Whereas in my original recording session of this, uh, 
of that part of the game. I actually didn't die, like, or didn't, like, have close near-death experiences at all. Clive saved me in the nick of time. Can never forget his sacrifice. God bless you, Clive. You were the real hero of Radiata stories. This should be Clive's stories. Clive's a real hero. As per the usual, we're still in the early game, so I am going to be fighting just about every enemy that we come across. Yeah, know the drill. Uh, let's see, I got a giant freaking dead tree over there. Hello. Oh, man. Did I mention the graphics? I, I like I like how the graphics of this game is. I, is it cell shading? I don't know if it is or not. It's like its own... It's its own style. I mean, it's, it's a game by Triace, the people behind Star Ocean, which is another series maybe one day I'll cover. Um, that I'm a fan of, so... The style definitely is, um... Reminding me of that, so... Yeah. Even though this game was published by Square Enix, but, like, it wasn't made by them, it was made by Triace, which is... Triace actually has a pretty deep history. Uh, which I don't know. If I'm bored one day, maybe we'll go into it, but... Trice is deep. It goes deep. But that is besides the point. But look at all this experience we're getting from killing wolves. Like, guys, we are cooking. I'll say, you never really have to grind in this game. For the most part. For the most part. I will grind at, like, one point in this journey. You got my guarantee. My money-back guarantee that you will see me grind at some point. And get you- get these damn bats off of me. I was calling Vangs, like, Xenoblade style, but nah. Yeah, good job, really. You got that kill. Putting you on the kill count. Make it sound like Ridley died. She didn't. No, Ridley's okay, guys. Ridley's cool. She's cool. She's fine. Wow. That is a serious pile of rocks. This is the famous Fort Helensia. Famous, huh? I've never heard of it. Yes, very famous indeed. This castle was built over a hundred years ago. It's one of the historical remains from the great human elf war of the last century. Radiata knights are still garrisoned here today to keep watch over the movements of the elves. No way. I've never heard any of that before. Ignorance is bliss, huh? We are the Rose Pochon Brigade. We bear a royal message. Go ahead, sir. Looks like we made it without any problems. Yes, Lady Natalie. But how long do we have to keep this up? Until Lord Jasmine is assured of their safety. But we have our own assignment. It doesn't make much sense. Knights guarding other knights. There's no point complaining about it, Leonard. Orders are orders. You know how it is. Fathers hate to see their little girls grow up and strike off on their own. It's only natural. Well, if you say so. But seeing him dote on his daughter... I mean, the way he protects her so... Don't you think he's wonderful? <sighs> My sweet Lord Jasmine. So great about that old red nose. Hey, we're going to lose Lady Ridley. Come on, after them. The fan service is nuts. Now, I actually recommend you go backwards, actually, because there's stuff in this little corner. For example, we have this. We have a heal circle. You step in this, you get fully healed of all your troubles, which is very nice. Even though some could argue we didn't need it. Second of all, Welcome. we have Lewis here. Hey, Lois. What you selling, buddy? What you selling? Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy a couple of herb extracts just for the road, you know? Just in case. Thank you very much. Can't go wrong with a couple extras. Uh, let's see, we got tree over here I can kick. Kick you, Mr. Tree. Okay, I kicked it. Kicked you too. Okay. You got a save point also, can't forget about that. And then we also have this training dummy over here. Uh... Which, uh, if we kick it, uh, we have, uh, basically a practice mode where you can practice, uh, certain things. So, uh, for what, for different weapons. So, uh, we have one-handed swords, so we have one-handed sword challenges. I'm not gonna bother with these, but I do want to at least show them off. Basically here, defeat the enemies in 10 seconds. So just beat this dummy up in 10 seconds. If you can do that, you win the challenge. Easy peasy lemon oh, squeezy. Right. It's also a good way for you to actually uh, learn more sword skill, so uh, that's pretty good. And experience too. Not a whole lot, but you know, experience is experience. I just wanted to show that off. Show that it existed, you know? Uh, let's see. Nothing over here, nothing to kick. Nothing? Okay. Uh, we can try walking back. Hmm. Master Jack, the rendezvous with Master Genius isn't in that direction. Okay, fine. What's in the chest? Got a night edge. A night edge. Which is... Eh, it's a little bit better than this iron edge that we had. Not as good as the aqua edge, though. But if you don't want to spend the money, maybe you actually maybe want to wait. I personally didn't want to wait because I ain't a waiter. That's just not how I roll. That ain't how I swing. Alright, but enough about that. Let's continue forward. Oh my god, is that a water buffalo? Why was he saying sexily right there? I'm just kidding. It wasn't sexily. He was just laying down like a normal animal. Uh, these things can be kind of dangerous. They actually hurt. I mean, 24 damage ain't nothing to scoff at. Especially after this. Uh... You may have noticed some enemies actually can break your guard, which is, uh, if you're getting hit with combos, that's actually kind of another thing to, you may want to keep in mind. Ooh, yeah, canceled that. So yeah, like, his charge attack can actually break your guard, so keep that in mind. But they're not too terrible. As long as you play your cards right and are careful enough, you shouldn't have no trouble whatsoever. And the experience is good too. And the Dolgals. Can't go wrong with the Dolgals. Now sometimes it's all about the money. It's all about the money sometimes. I didn't mean to attack the air. I mean, yes I did. There was a ghost. Ooh. Actually, wait, no, the ghost isn't. The ghost isn't viable. No. There's a fly. There was a fly. It was scary. It was it was all over the place. Jack wanted to take care of it. Dang it, Ridley, you stole the kill. Now I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sad for the rest of the day. Gonna be like, oh, you stole the kill. But hey, gotta level up. We're now the same level as Ridley and almost as strong as Gans. We've really come a far away, guys. A far away? No, we've come a long way. Gotta get my, uh, gotta get my English right. Get my words right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. You stab at wolves? Oh, God, I'm yawning. Thanks, nice. probably gonna go to bed after this recording. Recording the last few episodes in a row. Not a bad thing. I like having recording sessions. It's fun. I do this for fun. Never for the money, as I explained a million times. I do it for myself. And no, Gans, I won't attack that enemy. Dang, Ridley overkill once? Uh, overkill once? No overkill much? 
Bro was probably about to die. He didn't have to unleash the wrath of Ridley. She got a level up though, so now we're not as strong as her. <gasps> Gans, you maxed out Prevent Confuse and I learned Cyclone Thrust. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And normally I don't really change my, uh, my loadout too much. When it comes to, uh, um, attacks. Wait, I gotta walk around. I gotta walk across this like this. Like the only gif on uh, tenor about this game. I'm not kidding. Look it up. It's the only one. And now we're in the elf region. And oh my god, this music is beautiful. It's one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. In terms of overworld. It's great. Uh, here we got these evil plants. We got the lizard. Uh, the evil plants can actually be kind of scary because you see they got, they're like Pokemon. They have bullet seed. And they can help you with them. And if you get like triangle attacks like I did just there, or right now, uh, it can be kind of dangerous. So keep that in mind. Uh, we also have frogs here. They, I believe, can uh, cause confusion. Just like they confuse yeah. poor Ridley here. Yeah, I stole your kill, Ridley. I did that. I'm just built differently. Got all that experience. Good experience, though. Can't complain about that. Um, for safety reasons, we're gonna use a herb extract on myself. And hey. Fella messing with the stick over here. Probably just some rando. Probably no one important. Got frogs though. I love the frogs. Oh no. I'm confused. This is bad news. No, Ridley, watch out. Stop it. Stop tackling. Stop tackling Ridley? No, stop attacking Ridley. Understood. I hope we can finish the mission without incident. I hope so too, Gans. It's one of my dreams to finish the mission without incident. Also, confusion, like, reverts your controls. So that could be kind of annoying, but... Aside from hitting your allies, it's not too dangerous. <gasps> Gans leveled up. Oh my god, Gans, we're so proud of you. We're so proud. We are the Rose Cachon Brigade. Master Genius, I presume. Uh, young sir, your name is Genius, is it not? Hello, Master Genius. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! <sighs> I was on the verge of finding the complete solution to the non-human biophilic element residence accumulation principle. Then you had to interrupt and shatter my concentration! Ah, uh, I see. Yes, well, I'm very sorry. I'm sure, uh... Hmm. This guy's kind of weird. He isn't kind of weird. He's completely cuckoo. Oh, never mind. So, you must be the Radiata Knights who want to deliver the royal message. Right. I'm Captain Gantz Rothschild, and these two are... Ridley Silverlake. And I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. I am Genius Vice Hunter. I have only one request to make. Don't interfere with my research ever. There's a chance we can enter the Elf City, the City of Flowers. That is the only reason I have agreed to offer my assistance. Well, shall we? Uh, shall we what? I presume you want to leave immediately? Yes, of course. Good, we can talk as we go along. You and I, the value of our time is measured quite differently. I cannot allow my time to be wasted. For every minute that I am not working, humankind's progress is set back two weeks. Ah, is that right? Yes, that is right. I'm a genius, you see.
Oh my god, genius joins our party? No way. Yeah, he's a genius. Who would have thunk it? He's a genius, his name is Genius. Ha 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 game, you're so funny. Radiata stories. You should, they should call you silly stories. How silly you are. Okay. Jack really went the long way. He had to make sure to hit this enemy with all his powers. Now Genius, uh... He's kind of powerful. Not a magic user. He's part of the Verith Magical Institute, after all. He's freaking level 17. Bro's a monster. Bro's a beast. We're getting carried by this man. Getting carried by a nerd. Got herb to extract there. Hey, we got the one I used back. See, guys? Everything has a perfect... Come on, I know I can kick you. There we go. There wasn't even anything there. I wasted my time. It was all a waste of time. Ow. Ow. Stop hurting me. You're making me upset. God, ow. Stop it. I'm gonna be like Billy Joel in Moscow and be like, Stop ruining my show! And, ooh, Ridley's in danger. Uh, I mean, I'm in danger too, so... I'm gonna need a heal. I'm thinking about the Billy Joel thing I just referenced. Stop it! Stop messing with the lights! You're ruining my- Stop messing with my show! If you haven't seen that clip, it's actually freaking amazing. It's funny as hell. Let me do my show, damn it! And he like destroys, like, he flips over his keyboard. And smashes the mic, and he, he keeps doing it. Keeps going- Dang! 600 experience! Damn! That's like half the level. Chill out, Roddy, on a story. I'm, I'm greedy for levels. I ain't that greedy, though. Chill. Okay, I'm gonna need to be careful here, because there are so many spooky monsters. And that frog is gonna cause some problems. I can immediately tell. So I'm gonna use my, uh, faulty strikes. Well, actually, no, the Volti attacks. Volti blasts are whenever you're at max. Just gotta smack ya. The experience is gonna be good, though. I mean, just imagine. We might even get a little of this from this. It's all thanks to Master Genius. Okay, that was a lot less than I thought. It's the frogs. It's always the frogs. The frogs actually give killer experience. Uh, let's see. Is it there? Yeah, we're still okay. Sorry, that's my favorite part of the song. It's such a nice calming tune. Really gives out that fantasy vibe. I just love it. Got a sage. I am the great sage. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, ooh. Gonna watch out here. Herb extract coming up. Man, thank God I'm killing 90 HP. But that's good, at least. We got nothing to worry about. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, dang! That guy died and I smacked him. Talk about overkill. Dang, genius. Also, bro's on a hoverboard before hoverboards were even invented. Bro really is a smart Alec. You thought I was going to say genius, aren't, didn't you? But you was wrong. You was wrong. Yes, give me luck plus. And hey, we're level 10. Nice, guys. We've hit the double digits. That's how you know we hit the big leagues. That's how you know we made it big time.
mouth. What is? Where? Are you blind? Here, in front of you, the crevice in this cliff. That? You're joking, right? That's the gateway? Geniuses don't lie. What were you expecting the entrance to look like, exactly? Well, I mean, it's the city of flowers, right? I figured it'd be more colorful or something. Never mind. We're wasting time. I guess that being hidden like this is why no one's ever gotten in before. Yes, and if anyone does find the entrance, they have to deal with them. You can't come in! Buzz off! Listen, it's very important that you let us in. You again? Persistent twerp, do you want to get hurt? You make us mad, you're gonna be sad. Scary! Elves are way scary! Jack, please stop that. We have come bearing a very important message from the Kingdom of Ratiata. Please, is there any way that we might speak to your leader? Shut up! Go home! If you're still here when we get back, you're dead. Come on, Captain. Let's go in anyway. Stop, you fool. If we do that, we'll never be able to deliver the message. Believe me, they will kill you. Those two weren't joking, you know. Really? Wow. The elves are really scary. There's nothing we can do. We'll have to withdraw. What a waste. How come we couldn't get in? We'd hoped you'd help with that. In any case, we need to think hard and come up with another way to get inside. Think hard? <laughs> Easy for you to say. Wait, of course! You have an idea? We'll go to the Dark Elf Village. They can act as mediators in the negotiations. Mediators? But they're elves too! Surely we'll just be driven away again! The Dark Elves are far less hostile than the Light Elves. I know their elder, Lord Nogueira, quite well. I've asked him many times to intercede and let me into the City of Flowers. He has always refused. But this time, I have more than just a personal reason to offer. A royal message cannot be dismissed lightly. It'll be very difficult for him to turn us down. And then, at last, I will be inside the City of Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he laughing? He really is a weirdo. If we didn't have to work together, I wouldn't want to hang out with the guy. Right, follow me, everyone. <whistles> Why aren't you following me? Well... The captain hasn't moved. Knights have to wait for their captain's orders. We can't just run off whenever we want. That's right. I am the captain. Only I can issue orders to the brigade. Master Genius, please take us to the village of the Dark Elves. What is this? Are you giving me orders? No matter how much of a genius you may be, you are for the present under my command. If that is unacceptable, then we must part ways. Fine, fine. We want the same thing, I suppose. Excellent. Now, would you care to lead the way? Alright, now it's time to backtrack, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone's favorite thing to do. I ain't so bad. It was like, what, like two rooms? But hey, more fighting enemies, so more experience, more potential for fun and games. You know, we love fun and games. We love experience. It's always fun to level up and get stronger and stronger. It's always a great time. You know how it is.
Oh god. I am nodding. Oh gosh, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I've already expressed this like two seconds ago, but I mean, I gotta express it again. It's an emotion worth expressing. Y'all understand, right? Captain, you know, you're actually kind of cool back there. Well, Jack, being entrusted with a brigade is a serious responsibility. A leader must be prepared to put his foot down for the good of the troops. Enforcing rules is a most important duty. Wow, being a captain is tougher than I thought. I wouldn't worry about it. It'll be a sunny day in Fog Valley the day you make captain. Yeah. The feuds go on. The feuds go on. So now the Quasanova, the little, the, I was gonna say the rickety bridge again, but it's not really rickety. It's like a log, big giant log. Oh, I have to say goodbye to the beautiful music. It's okay. I'm sure we'll hear it again someday. Especially if we actually get a way in. Then we will be back and hear it. And it'll be beautiful and I'll gush about it again and again. Not that the other tracks are bad or anything like that. I do like them. Still like it. They fit the areas. But like, Elf Regions just got like so my... It's one of my favorites. It really fits the feeling of, oh, I'm going to go see the elves. You know, does that make any sense? I sure hope it does, or else I'm, I'm a little crazy. Good job. I almost called her Liberty. No. Ridley. Gotta level up. I knew a Liberty once. That's where that story's gonna end. That's where the story ends. Alright! Well, now we loot back here. And if we look at our map, we're gonna have to go over there to this region over here. Which means we get to see more new stuff. What's up, buddy? Uh, I think I'll buy two extra herb extracts, you know? Can't say no to that. And actually, wait, hold on. Knowing the area... Might need some stuff for poison, too. Can never be too careful. Alright! Well, we, ex we made it past Fort Helencia and made it to the Elf region and met with Genius, who will accompany, uh, who, uh, or was going to help us get into the City of Flowers to deliver a royal message to the Light Elves, but they said, don't come in or we're gonna kill you. And so with nothing else to do, Genius suggested that we go see the Dark Elves to help, th to let the, or to tell them to, hey, can you help us get inside the Light Elf, uh, City of Flowers and all that stuff. So now we're on our way to the where the Dark Elves live, and hopefully we can work something out. You know how it is. So that being said, next time on Radia Stories, we head out in search of the Dark Elves. See you guys then.